be pilgrims, to make pilgrims. This afternoon, the Holy Lord here at the shrine was opened by Bishop Windsor. It was, and today has been, <coughs> a time to prepare for the year ahead. The many pilgrims that will come, the many places to which pilgrims will travel. And as we go through this holy year, all the pilgrims, wherever they go, are seeking the same thing. Mercy. There will be all sorts, and there are all sorts of pilgrims. We heard of Jiria's pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Often we will make pilgrimages to Rome, or to Assisi, or to other holy places. For how many years have people made pilgrimage to this holy chapel, filled with the odor of beeswax?
place where God resides, the place where the saints who occupy that chapel reside in the Lord. Because we're all called to be saints, to join those in the next room, around the world. <coughs> There are pilgrim churches all over the world. And some are simple chapels like this one. Like Ajiri said, they may not be impressive, but each has a grace all their own. Whether it's a simple tiny chapel, or St. Peter's Basilica, or one of the other major basilicas in Rome, or the Cathedral of St. Peter in Chains, that earthly destination, that holy door through which we pass, is secondary. Because the true destination is grace, conversion, change, and that's way. This year, this extraordinary jubilee year, the true destination is mercy. And whether that is by passing through this holy door or some other holy door, we have all been invited to find the strength for Francis Thomas. To find the strength to first embrace God's mercy, then to dedicate ourselves to being merciful to others. You see, it's never just mercy for ourselves. It's never just mercy for mercy. It's never just mercy so that I can feel it. Mercy is received and it impels us to be sharers of that mercy. Mercy received can never be kept to oneself. It's to be shared with the world. Just as Jesus sent his disciples out two by two to minister to others, and just as the disciples on the road to Emmaus had to return to Jerusalem to share the story. So too the pilgrim returns home changed and brings with them the grace received and in so doing becomes a font of grace for others. So as we gather this night, whether as pilgrims to be or pilgrim workers, may this year for all of us a moment.